You may have a castle product in one of your vehicles like this TRX4 with a Sidewinder 4 installed into it. And one day you open up Castle Link and it tells you, hey, you, you need to update Castle Link. So today's video, we are going to cover updating Castle Link. I'm John Holmes. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so today's topic is going to be updating Castle Link and then seeing if we can update the Sidewinder 4 after we do that. So I'm going to open up Castle Link 3.77. And then up at the top on the help tab, I do believe, we can check for updates now. And here we go, 3.78 is available. So we're gonna hit the update Castle Link button. Pretty straightforward, this castle walks us right through all of this. And on their website, it has a big old button now, download Castle Link. So of course you're going to need a computer and an internet connection to get this done. We will also need our USB and the Castle Link device and the ESC that we're updating. So it's prompting us to save our video somewhere. Let's do it in downloads. We get to see all kinds of downloads. Castle Link installer 3.78.exe and that was fast. It's already downloaded. We must have a banging connection here today. Let's see if I can run this directly from the download and have it install. It's, sometimes it's kind of tricky. I may need to run it as admin. So as you can see, I ran the EXE. It will ask me, do you want to actually do this? Yes, in fact, I do. Now we're in a setup wizard. We'll install it on our computer. Hit next. We do need to accept the terms of the agreement that of course we're not gonna read. Who reads those really? Do you read them? Seriously, does anybody read them? I don't think anybody does. So select the type that we want to automatically open with Castle Link. .csv is what they use for their data logging. And I use those for other spreadsheets. So I don't want Castle to actually be the default program for that. But if you only use CSV files or if you don't use them at all, then you want to make sure that it opens up with Castle Link and that's what you would select. And we're just going through now basic programs, locations, installations. Yes, I want a desktop shortcut and a start menu programs folder. And finally, we're at the install button. So we hit the install button and we wait. Oh, we need to, we need to close, it says, automatically close the applications and attempt to restart them after setup is complete. That sounds good. Let's do that. Usually the things that are highlighted on your computer are what you should do. Now we can launch Castle Link and hit the finish button. I like that there's a finish button. It's a nice touch. It doesn't just, you know, stop. So now we have the updated Castle Link. Now I am going to see if our new Sidewinder 4, or I guess it's an old Sidewinder 4, it has new firmware. So we're going to plug in our Castle Link, which is already on our USB cable into the computer. Alternatively, I could have said that our USB link is on a USB cable and which we shall plug into the computer. The next step, as you can see, we have a red light on the Castle Link itself and on the software, we have the green light telling us that the USB is connected. If you ever have any problems in this step, usually you can just unplug it and plug it back in again. If you just installed the software, you may need to restart your computer at this point if it will not see this USB link. But We've got the red light on, we've got the green light on the software, we are ready to go. Next up, we plug in with the proper polarity. You may be able to see a negative, a positive, and then a little U looking shape on the actual Castle Link. The negative is the brown wire on your radio plug. So we plug that in very carefully, and then the green light pops on telling us, hey, we saw something that we like, and our software also tells us that. Hey, a new version of beta software is available. Beta firmware, beta device firmware. Terms don't matter, but there's a lot of terms. So if we wish to install the beta software, firmware, <laughs> then, then we go to the software tab. It tells us what to do. So I'm gonna do it. All right, let's make this big old fat window for you. So software, we get to update to 2.06, neat. 
It even tells us what is in the revision history. Ooh, drag brake ramp. That sounds fun. Also, we can connect to the Bluetooth adapter without manually resetting our ESE, which is kind of cool because with the, the B-Link, with the Bluetooth link previously, we had to actually unplug our ESE and plug it back in and cycle the power for it to function properly. Now you can just at any time access it through your phone, I suppose. That's pretty cool. Hats off to the software engineers at Castle. They seem to do it for a living, I guess. They must be professionals. While I'm asking, what do y'all do for a living? I do RC car parts, mostly motors, I guess. But uh, I wonder what my viewers do. Let's, uh, I bet we'll get all kinds of responses there. All right, so we updated the settings with a press of the key. That was super fast for a new firmware. That is one thing that I've noticed on the Castle equipment is that it updates really fast compared to Hobby Wings. Really, really fast. So I guess that was it. Uh, not really... Hit again. It says current firmware is 2.05. I'm going to do it again. Oh, okay, here we go. I hit the wrong button. So uh, mistakes can be made. Have you made them before programming your devices? You probably have because everyone is human. So it's saying don't disconnect the device. And seriously, don't disconnect your device because you can probably brick it and Castle may not be able to help you if you do that. So we tell it yes. Now we wait. Step one of two. It is asking the device, do you have enough memory? for me to shove this information is in. And step two of two, it is saying, now I shall shove this information into you. There's all sorts of things that I suppose could be shoved in there right now, but for now it's a new firmware. And we're about halfway through step two of two. <laughs> Don't give me those eyes behind the camera. <laughs> uh, we're almost done here. If I, if, if I had more jokes, I'd tell them right now, but I'm not a joker. All right, so it updated. That took a little bit longer. I was wondering why it's so fast. I was, I was ready to give Castle a huge pat on the back for updating firmware so fast, which that was still fast, but not quite as fast as I thought. So now, Castle Link, it says up at the top, 3.78. We were at 3.77, so we know our Castle Link is updated. Go to the software tab. Ha ha, right here. Version 2.06, beta, which sometimes they're all betas and they never actually get to a, a non-beta or non-alpha, which I think is kind of funny. So what we're gonna do is look through and see if anything changed. Okay, it kept my throttle curve, our motor, direction is still normal, motor type is still brushless, still lowest timing on there. If you have any questions or comments about exactly how I program the Sidewinder 4, we have another video that we just released or will be releasing next week exactly on that. But for now, I'm just going through and looking at the new things that we have. So far, nothing. Punch control the same. Reverse percentage the same. High power the same. Voltage cutoff is the same. Crawler reverse. Brake amount. Drag brake. Drag brake ramp. Here we go. Here's our new setting that our new firmware gave us. So I currently have the drag brake at 30% because the revolver is so strong that any more instantly locks up the tires no matter what speed you're going, even in second gear. And that is dangerous for drivetrain parts, and it also is very unpredictable to drive unless you are really good at backing off that throttle finger before it gets to that drag brake. That can kind of be of a, a little bit of a pain. I have learned to drive that way, but I also keep my drag brake fairly low on this particular motor because it has so much drag brake. But the drag brake ramp, as a new feature, it could actually let us put the drag brake up really high and then ramp it in smoothly. I had actually had this as an OEM engineering request for Castle, but it never got implemented. But they implemented it on their own, which is just as good today for me. So they don't actually have any description of how fast the ramp is. Let's see if Click On Me for additional help will tell us. It doesn't actually tell us what the ramp time is. So is this in seconds? Is this in years? We don't know. So since I have not tried this yet, what I'm gonna do is medium. Let's do medium drag brake ramp. And just to see how bad it is or good it is, we're gonna do 100% full crawler on drag brake and update. Update, update, update. Update of settings complete. There we go. 
So now the next portion is going to be testing it out. And I think we'll probably do a complete video that is just on that so that you can kind of see what happens when you change settings actively without it being too long of a video. If you do have any questions about the updating of the castle link or any of the processes there within, let me know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in today and have a good one. John Holmes I'm I'm I'm